Tyler Burton. I am a senior design production major and I am the hair and makeup artist slash designer for Phantom. My specific role in the production is I get to make everyone look pretty on stage. Um, so it's been a mix of working with different hair pieces, different prosthetic pieces that are going to go on. Um, I actually got to design the Phantom's makeup that's underneath his mask and find out, like, I did a lot of research into what kind of diseases he had, like, what what could cause him to look like this. And then I got to sit there and actually make the prosthetic piece for it. So I've been working with a lot of different materials like silicone and latex and laying up my own hair pieces for the show. I think design production is, I would say, the largest definition of performance learning because along with us taking, you know, most of us are taking 17, 18 credits, we also are doing two production assignments a year while also possibly designing a show and also working eight hours in a shop every week. Everything that we do is performance learning. The amount of talent that's on the show is immeasurable. It's, it's just absolutely insane. Um, like being able to sit there and especially watch my friends and see all the incredible things that they're doing. Like my friend Amanda making a robotic monkey. Like that's huge, it's such a cool thing. And it's something that you wouldn't expect someone to know how to do yet. She's sitting there working it out and doing it. And I think it's so incredible. Or to, to see like the different head pieces that are being made for the show and just being able to watch that process. I think that's been the coolest part about that. Like everyone here has so much to bring to the show and by bringing that, they're bringing them full, their full selves into the show. It's such a big set that constantly has to move. And I know there was a lot of discussion when it came to, to things like, is there going to be a boat? Should there be some sort of river that has to be on? And to, to watch the thought process happen, especially during meetings, and be able to sit there and see all the, the you can see like the wheels turning in people and being like, well, what if we did this? And so that's how we got these, these incredible staircases that are going to be moving around while they're walking down them. We also have the use of uh, projections that are going to be done throughout the show. Um, we have found a way to make a chandelier crash and also still function at the same time. And working with an idea like pyrotechnics and figuring out how that's gonna work. And the fact that our pyrotechnician is a freshman, like I think that's such an incredible experience for him to have and be able to sit there and watch that process happen has been really incredible to be a part of. With scenic painting, there's a lot that, that goes into it. It's a lot of research of knowing exactly what it looks like in real life and how you can portray that through paint. And I think that's done so well. I got to see the, the black marble of the staircases the other day and I had to take a double look because I was like, that looks so good. And that's gonna look so incredible from a stage like Kirkland. Doing a show like Phantom is, is unique in itself and also a challenge because there's, it's been done so many times. And it's such a big name production that everyone knows what Phantom is and people expect it to look this certain way so you have to somewhat uphold that integrity but at the same time be able to make it your own and I think that's one thing that's been done really well with us is the fact that all the designers have taken and put themselves into it while still keeping these iconic characters and these iconic images that happen like I said I know especially with me having the freedom to be able to create basically my own Phantom that I, I didn't bother to look at any other production of Phantom because I wanted it to be mine. I love opening night. Even if I can't watch it, just sitting there being behind that stage and looking at the stage and being like, we did that, we did that. And I, I love being able to go to the gala afterwards and listen to, to all the different people talk about, oh, this was so incredible, and this was so incredible, and oh, this was just so amazing. And it's just like, it's just those moments where you can just be proud, like silently proud, of the incredible art that you just put in front of these people. We are taking something so iconic and brilliant, but making it Millican.